Good morning. This is Pastor Jason of Kona Faith Center with a word for today. And the word for today is new. Allow the Holy Spirit to wash me with the water of the word, with the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit. Now, we don't use the word regeneration very much anymore. The word that's translated regeneration come from the words that mean new and birth. Hence, new birth, new life, or born again. I like new life the best because old things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new. It seems clear to me that it takes two elements for this new birth, for this new life to take place. We need the Word and we need the Holy Spirit working together. I'm thankful. I'm grateful that the Word works in me mightily. I'm thankful. I'm grateful that the Holy Spirit works in me mightily. I like new life because new birth, born again, has the connotation of an event, whereas new life has the connotation of a process. I don't know about you, but I I do know that it's a process for me, even with the Word, even with the Holy Spirit working mightily in me. Which brings us to renewing. The word translated renewing means to make new and is in making something different. New life, different than the old life. New man, different than the old man. New way of living, different than the old way of living. Once again, though, this is a process instead of an event, which is why we need the daily dose of the Holy Ghost and the Word to live this new life, to be the new man, to live the new and living way. I find it interesting that the Word says the Father has poured out the Holy Spirit abundantly on us, not just enough to be renewed, not just enough to be regenerated, but more than enough for you and for me and all those around us. Now, this is a two-edged sword. Thank God for the Holy Spirit poured out on me, on us, in greater amount than we need. Thank God that the Holy Spirit is poured out without measure. Thank God that the unlimited power of the Holy Spirit is available to me, to you, to everyone. Thank God that there is nothing that is impossible for us because of the Holy Spirit who lives in us. Thank God that we can do all things through Christ Jesus who strengthens us. The other side of the sword is no excuses. No reason to fall short. No way, no how, because the Holy Spirit, the unlimited creator, the all-powerful God, the one for whom nothing is impossible, lives in me and in you. New. Let him make you new today. Let him renew you today. Let him teach you how to live in the new and living way today. Thank you, Father, for the Word. Thank you, Father, for the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for the regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit today in me and in the people that are listening to me. Thank you, Lord. The word for today is new. Live the new and living way. God bless. Check in tomorrow.